Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Ted. Ted. I hope you've all had a good week since our last meeting. I didn't. What's wrong, Epic Fantasy? I released ten more trilogies on Tuesday, and all of them were exactly the same. A Dark Lord tries to destroy the world, and then a Chosen One hero stops him. Yeah. I keep telling you, man, you need to try something different. Oh, you're one to talk. How many urban fantasy stories are just about some hero trying to stop bad guys from exposing the masquerade? Not all of them. Sometimes they're about magical serial killers. All right, let's tone it down. No need for hostility. Remember, this is a support group. Uh, Epic Fantasy, have you ever considered using more Asian-inspired settings? I mean, just the other day I saw that they had their own section at Barnes & Noble. Doesn't putting fantasy based on other mythologies into their own categories just further cement my Eurocentrism? Yeah, but this way your protagonist can use a katana instead of a longsword. That makes it exotic. I haven't been exotic for a long time. What's wrong, science fantasy? Nobody likes me anymore. Star Wars stole all my thunder, and since then everyone's been trying to recapture the magic, but it never works. They just make a generic space opera and then throw in a few sword fights. Or they just get rid of the magic altogether. Or they just get rid of the science altogether. Even the last Final Fantasy game got rid of most of the sci-fi elements. You still have Warhammer 40k, that's pretty great. And the minis sell for a ton of money. The only ones who like that are nerds with too much time on their hands. It's not mainstream enough. Well now you're just being picky. All of us are fueled by nerds with too much free time. Grimdark, you're being awful quiet today. I have nothing to say. Nothing at all? Nothing about how your heyday is long past and now you're just seen as the domain of teenaged edgelords? Nope. Have you been staying sober? Of course not. All my protagonists are alcoholics. They need to drown their tortured memories of the time they burned down an orphanage for shock value, or the time they massacred an entire village. But not because they want to. They were totally forced to, and now they have to angst about it. And are you still obsessed with looking cool over all else? Of course, but I'm having trouble finding new ways to do it. I've tried gritty realism and gritty pseudo-realism, but it's all just starting to feel the same. You could try having your protagonist fight with three different weapons at the same time. That doesn't make sense. I can't carry that many weapons in my hands. You don't have hands. None of us do. We're just a visual metaphor for problems with various genres of fiction. I thought we were a personification of our creator's frustrations with fantasy. No, no, we're clearly representations of critical response to popular tropes. Like a political cartoon that can talk. I'm pretty sure we're manifestations of things that people find annoying about our namesake genres. It doesn't matter what we are. All that matters is how we see ourselves. Oh, you're here! Uh, everyone, we have a new member. Please, uh, introduce yourself. Um, <clears throat> hello. I'm Young Adult Fantasy. Nice to meet you all. Uh. Did, did... Did I do something wrong? You're not even fantasy. You're just smut with a fantasy setting so that the author can throw in sex scenes with fairies. Hey, don't make me tap the sign. Oh yeah, because King Killer Chronicles didn't devote a hundred pages to fairy sex. That's different. That's male-focused fantasy. That means complete self-indulgence is totally fine. Okay, okay. Simmer down. YA fantasy. What brings you to our group? Well, I'm probably the most popular genre of fantasy right now, but I just feel... empty. It's like I'm always just going through the motions. A teen girl gets to be super special and fawned over by the boys, then she has to overthrow an evil government by being a spy, then there's some love triangles, even the settings are always the same. It's like I'm junk food. I'm tasty, but I'm not filling. You should have more horrible things happen to the protagonists. Why would I do that? I just think that if you're going to have a bunch of women in your story, they should be horribly abused to show off how evil the setting and or villain are. Grimdark? Cool it with the misogyny. We talked about this. No, it's okay. Most of my romantic relationships are horribly toxic. And even when I attempt to have strong female characters, they're still often reliant on others to do anything and defined entirely by their relationships with men. So you're just a mirror image of me? Kind of. On the plus side, you being aimed at women means the anti-SJW crowd won't rile up their audiences about you. 
Shadiversity spent literal hours crying about how one of my female characters wore pants. Is that a joke? Not even a little bit. YA, have you ever considered aiming for a gender neutral audience? Or even a male one? It would force you to mix things up at least a little bit. I don't follow. Okay, it uh, looks like we're about out of time now, but I'm happy with the progress we've made today. Uh, next week, we're being joined by another new member. His name is Isekai Anime. Nope, I'm out. Me too. He doesn't want to be helped. He wants to say the same forever. I'm gone. He's even more of a misogynist than me. Oh man, I am so getting fired again.